What's up guys, John from Heroes World here. We got the brand new Crisis Protocol uh, releases. We've got Spider-Man and Ghost Spider here. And we've got Green Goblin. So these are brand new today, August 14th uh, for release. And I just wanted to do a quick unboxing because I'm looking forward to adding these guys to my Spider-Man team, which is pretty sparse right now. So I've got my Spider-Man stuff here, Avengers here, Cabal here. I've got my Wakandans over here, and uh, I'm working on my Guardians of the Galaxy, so they're on the painting table right now. But let's open these up quickly so you can have a look at what's inside, and let's go. So let's go with Spider-Man Ghost Spider first. All right, so just quickly, the contents are listed here on the back. So if you're missing any of these items, definitely contact your place of purchase. So you would contact us at Heroes World. Or if you can't get a hold of the place you purchased from, you at contact Atomic Mass Games, and hopefully they will replace that for you ASAP. So let's see here. Uh, I'm actually going to guess that this is probably going to come with four bases because that's typically what they do. So let's see. So these are your tokens, your things. Yep. Just as I guessed, four bases. So if anyone's looking for bases, you're going to have a ton of bases extra from this game. Uh, so let's take a quick peek at these here. I'm pretty sure all this has been revealed online already. Uh, if you do not play this game currently, I highly recommend it. It's a great game. It's got a lot of things going on for it, plus these beautiful miniatures, as well as it's all Marvel comic-based. So we've got... All these guys here, I'm missing Thor, uh, Valkyrie, Loki, Hela, and a couple other pieces. Uh, and my Guardians, you didn't see, I mentioned that earlier. Um, but the, the game just features all kinds of fun characters. And, and they're going to be adding X-Men coming this Christmas. So these are your cards. These are your tokens. These are your hero cards. Sorry, I'm still kind of new to the game, so if I'm calling these by the wrong terms, I apologize. So these are the original way you start, and then when you start taking hits and injuries, you'll flip to this side. So the game, I, I really like it. What I've played so far, it's kind of like Hero Clicks blended with a little bit of Star Wars Legion, if anyone's ever played that. And then we will also always get this, which is your read this first CP10 is this particular expansion. And then you'll get an assembly guide. So these are relatively short. So actually, I'm going to try and do an assembly... Uh, uh, an assembly guide or, you know, me assembling these uh, after this video. So they, they look pretty simple. Um, they are, they have come a long way. The, the, the miniatures that came with the original starter uh, definitely weren't the best uh, designs and, and, and not designs, but the, the way they came together wasn't, wasn't ideal. Um, but it looks like they're learning a lot and, and, and coming through with things. So here's your, here's your four bases I mentioned earlier. Pretty standard fare. Anytime you get one of these, you get four bases, and you get these uh these little bottles that you can save. Uh, I'd save a ton of them and like throw them all in one base for funsies. Uh, and then here is your models. So it doesn't look like much when you see it out of the box, especially when you see these retail for around fifty dollars or so. I forgot the exact price on this particular package, so you have to hit us up in store, or I'll probably I'll make, I'll see if I can have it slide in here. Uh, the Canadian SRP at least. But you're going to get a lot of value out of these. You're going to get to assemble these, you're going to get to paint them, and then you're most importantly going to get to play with these. So this is Miles here. He comes on top of this newspaper uh, dispenser here. And he's got a couple different leg pieces. I like that this is all one piece. Uh, earlier models uh, that I would kind of semi-complain about would have like this hand would be separate, the head would be separate. But I don't think you need to add extra pieces to increase the hobby. Uh, the new X-Men stuff looks really good because they're coming with alternate heads and, and things like that. Uh, which I think that increases the hobby instead of cutting your model into more parts that are kind of unnecessary. So let's see. Although it, does, it doesn't allow for a lot of customization if you wanted a different pose or something like that. So this is Green Goblin. Um, I'm going to suspect that he possibly might come with two bases, but I haven't built one of these big guys in a while. They like to give you options. There's different styles of bases. They're all like kind of these pre-done street scenes. Let's see, moment of truth. Yeah, look, two bases. All right, so this is a random piece of cardboard. You can actually keep that. Helps you when uh, you're doing the building or gluing so you don't get anything on your table. 
And here are your tokens. Very cool. Here are your cards. So it's, it's nice. It actually tells you everyone that can be on this character's team. So, uh, yep. And then you got a couple other bonus cards that you can have there. And this is your character card. Like you can definitely find this online. So I won't go too in depth to this, into this. And also I'm, I'm relatively new, so I'm not going to be, uh, your expert right now. I'm looking to really get into this game, so maybe take maybe an hour or so. All right, so this is your expansion set, CP21. Read this first, and then this one. So this one's a little bit more in depth. He's standing on his goblin glider here, uh, but it's not too crazy. I, I don't think I'll build this guy, but I think I'll build the, the Gwen, the, the spider Gwen and the uh, or ghost spider as they call her now, and the Miles. So I'll, I'll cut to that after. Uh, I, uh, I'll show you my uh, Wakandans quick here. So I actually just ended up covering the bases with the texture paint from uh, Games Workshop Citadel. They kind of make it a little bit different. Sorry, my painting isn't gonna win any competitions. I'm actually doing these for speed. Uh, actually, a lot of these early models, I had a brand new uh, player do and I helped them along the way. So these are pretty good for someone's first effort into uh, paint model uh, painting. Uh, a friend of mine, Pat, he's new to painting. I showed him how to do this all with the contrast paints. I might have done a couple touch-ups on the faces and things like that, and and then the hair and the little details. But he did most of these all himself as a new, as a brand new, brand new to this. And then the Hulk, I had I, I had to do the Hulk, like some of the muscle detail. The contrast paints don't work good with uh, these bigger surfaces. Again, you know, I'm not going to win any competitions, but I am going to help you get them on the table and looking looking fancy. Better than, uh, you know, un, undone or just primed models, hopefully. But, you know, that's all subject to opinion. So let's go. So for assembly, you will need some glue. Uh, I use the Super T Hot Stuff right now. Uh, not all plastic glues will work on this, so definitely you'll have to experiment. I don't know if the Games Workshop plastic glue works on these. Uh, I'm not looking to try today. Uh, I'll try, maybe I'll run some recon, and you need a hobby knife. Nice and sharp. And a pair of clippers. Uh, so this is the Army Painter, this is the older model. They do have a brand new model now, it looks a little bit nicer, it has a red handle. Um, and I have this one, these are the God Hand Clippers, not the crazy expensive ones. Uh, they're, they're kind of economy brand. There it is, got hand. There's the model number. These I like these because they're really, really sharp. And they cut really good. I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, another really good set of clippers is the Games Workshop uh, Citadel Clippers. They're like a metal uh, anodized handle. They look really fancy. A little bit more expensive. This one's around maybe 16 bucks Canadian. Uh, the Games Workshop ones are either 30 or 40 bucks. Hey guys, we're back and we are assembling Spider-Man. So Miles Morales, Spider-Man, one of my favorite characters in the Marvel Universe right now. Uh, he's only literally four pieces and a base. Uh, so this is going to be really easy. As you can see, the pieces are numbered uh, and they will correspond to the sprue. So that's Ghost Spider. You can kind of see them there, but you know what? You can basically see what's what. So it's pretty simple. So I'm actually going to clip everything out. Um, so I'm going to take my clippers here, and I'm actually going to cut uh, nice and flush against the model here. And that's going to save me some cleanup time. I'm more about speed when building these and kind of like less, less work, less prep time. Uh, there are many other ways to do this. Uh, some people do a far cut, and, they'll, and then they'll cut it with an extremely sharp hobby knife. Um, to avoid stress marks, uh, but we're painting over all these guys. So even if I cause some type of stress mark, it doesn't matter to me, you know, and this is how I build. Everyone else builds a different way. Some people I know uh, paint on the sprue. So I'm taking the flat edge of my cutters and I'm putting that part against the model that I want to kind of keep, not against the sprue that I'm cutting away from. So there's his torso. There's his foot other foot and then there's this weird mailbox newspaper thing that he is flying off of all right and he's done so what I want to do next is I can take my hobby knife 
So you can do this uh, with a little sandpaper if you want it, if you want to be hardcore. Uh, I actually like the hobby knife. And you always want to cut away from you using this dull edge to push along. Hi. Hi, baby. So one of my daughters just walked in. But that's okay. She actually loves this game. Where is sister? Sister is still sleeping. Where? In the box? No, she's in the bed. What? How weird. Weird, you were sleeping one second ago. Hey, where Venom? Uh, I'll be working on Venom next. So I cut away for a second there. My daughter was getting a little chatty. I've got a couple other projects I'm working on, and she's asking me about those. Uh, so it's kind of funny. She's really on me. So, like, see, there's a little nub here, and I'm gonna use the hobby knife to shave it off. Sorry, it's gonna be really hard to see. Sorry. So I'll try to figure out better ways to show you guys this. And some people leave these. Some people don't care. Some people like uh, leave that type. Of, leave these things, and and figure it's not apparent enough. So you can see his little. I don't think it's gonna focus. All right. So now that I've got all my pieces cleaned up, I'm gonna choose a base. And we're gonna glue all these guys together. So I'll be back in one second. I drop. Okay, come here. Come here, Izzy. I'm actually gonna get my daughter to help me clip this base off. Come, come. Here, here's the clippers. Come here, come this side, Izzy. Come this side. All right. Okay. So I've already showed her how to do this. I, I hope she knows how to do it right. All right. There you go. So we used. The, what did we do, Izzy? We used the flat side of the clippers to get as close to the clip as possible. Um, I don't know if there's any way I can illustrate. Yeah, like this, as opposed to doing this way, which, will, which won't give you as close a cut. So, um, they actually tell you to do the legs, Spider-Man on the newspaper box, and then the newspaper box on the stand. I'm actually going to mix it up a little bit. I'm actually going to put this newspaper box on the stand first. So I don't have to worry about that later. So I've got my super glue here. So I use the Super T Hot Stuff, which is basically a super glue. Uh, it bonds really fast and it has gap filling properties. So I do like this product. So I'm putting it directly on the model here. And I'm just gonna stick that here. And then I'm just gonna move it aside so I don't have to deal with it. All right, sorry guys, I'm back. I opted to actually try and get some better light here. Um, so I've already done a couple steps. Hopefully that I can edit this together and make it seem, uh, make sense. Uh, thanks for bearing with me. I wanted to get this video out for release date, so I'm kind of rushing it. So what I'm going to do is for the legs here, I'm going to actually redo this portion. Uh, basically you want to do test fit. So this wacky leg out here, that fits no problem. And then this crazy leg down here. So if you've got like big hands, um, then you might want to get a set of tweezers for doing stuff like this. So hopefully you guys can see that. So this leg sit, sits in there pretty nice. Uh, so this leg I find easier, so I'm actually going to leave that to second. I'm going to do the harder leg first. And you can see kind of it, it only fits in one way, so there's not a lot that you can screw up here. Uh, and big props to Atomic Mass for this, for this particular model. I like how it's, it comes together. I like how it's not a ton of pieces. So what I'm gonna do is, something that I usually recommend for newer builders, is not to take your glue and go directly to your model. Sometimes too much can come out uh, and, and make a mess. So I'm actually gonna recommend you push some of the super glue out onto your, a palette here. Get a toothpick or something with a sharp point and just use that to apply your glue. That way you know exactly where it's going and you're not gonna use too much. So I'm putting it here on the outer ridge of where this leg's gonna go. And I'm gonna stick it back in. There you go. And you're gonna wanna push it as close together as you can. And the seams, as you can see, see his butt there, fitting together pretty good. That's what the nice thing about the Super T is. Uh, it is gap filling, so it will give you a, a nice finish, especially after you prime it. There we go. Uh, and normally I wait a little bit longer um, but since I'm trying to do this on camera, 
I'm actually going to try and pop the other leg on. So I'm going to take my toothpick here. So this super glue will usually actually sit here pretty, pretty good for a while. I believe super glue dries faster when there's absence of air. So that's why when you press two pieces together, it'll glue a little faster. You can get, oh, see, this is where I should have been paying attention to where this leg goes. So there we go. So there, oh, see, there's a gap there. So I want to make sure I push that, push that in before the glue is dry. That's not bad. And I'm going to go ahead and just glue him onto the next piece here, which is the mailbox. And you can see there's actually a little hole uh, for his hand to fit here. So that's actually very convenient. So I could take the glue and put it right on there, but I don't think I need that much. So I got my little puddle here. I don't know if that's going to show up on camera. And I'm just going to put it around this ridge here where it's going to slot in. And then we're just going to drop them in. So it's nice. The end, of, the tips of his fingers are on there. There you go. And we have a Miles Morales Spider-Man. I like him. Very nice. Like you can see him next to our other Spider-Man here. This guy came a little darker than I wanted him to. Uh, but not bad. All right. So I'm going to try and snap... Uh, pop together a ghost spider for you as well here. So let's just keep it rolling. So I'm actually gonna like it, she's pretty straightforward. Like none of these parts are, are too complicated. So I'm actually just gonna clip everything off. So using the flat side of my clippers. Clip all these off. Might be able to hear my youngest daughter in the background here. So I'm actually gonna flip this over and see how much of this piece is actually. There we go. So there's all our pieces. So you then, uh, sometimes you wanna be careful. You might actually wanna draw on this thing so you know where your glue is. like. If you actually have things handy, <laughs> that way you know not to put any pieces of your model over there. But I would usually, I go straight to the model, I'm, I live life kind of dangerously. Uh, but I actually do recommend this toothpick method. So I'm just going to be cleaning off the, the sections here, so cutting away from myself. And these clippers are actually really good, so I'm actually not having to remove a lot. So here you can kind of see it. So this one you want to be caref careful not to kill any of your other detail. There's that. See the bottom of her foot here. Sorry, trying to do this on camera is not as easy as it as some people make it look. So I can't even see where I clipped it off on this arm. So I'm gonna leave it. I think it was somewhere here. Oh no, here, right here, this peg. So this is actually not necessary, but I'm just gonna do it for complete sake because it's actually gonna be covered up in, inside the body. Uh, let's see here. This hand, right here. Sorry, I'm off camera again. There you go. Uh, and then again, this one's on the peg here on her head. And that, that's kind of dangerous. So what, what you can do is you can kind of put your model on the floor, not on the floor, on your, on your surface. And you can actually kind of like cut it that way instead of having your fingers so close. That's why some people buy cut mat for here. Uh, you don't want to be doing this on your just your dining room table with no protection down. I've got this piece of cardboard and I've got my Marvel Champions play mat down as well. 
also an excellent game. Here we go. So, we're going to grab a base. So, I've already got a base here. Um, I'm actually going to use the base that they're recommending. You know what? Am I going to be able to find it? Wow, this is a disaster. Oh, right here. There we go. So I'm going to use, they use in the picture, they seem to use this one here. So we're going to clip it. I'm going to clean it. Right. Uh, and I'm going to pop the instructions onto the screen here for a second. So that's pretty much it. So they recommend the long, the biggest piece and then the front chest, and then the two arms, her thigh, foot, leg, and her head, and then onto the base. So let's rock and roll. Let's just go and do this. All right, so I'm gonna, is that glue dry yet? This glue is a little bit gummy. So when it does that, it might not stick as well. So I'm actually gonna put another little blob there. And then make sure I put my, Nozzle on my glue nice and tight. Get that out of the way. And let's grab our toothpick. And you see where these, uh, it's got a big peg here. And then along, these are the seams that are going to connect. I'm going to try and just put a lot of, a bunch of glue on there. So some on the peg. Some here. There you go. There's that, that piece. All right. Uh, normally I would wait a little longer. And uh, we're just going to test fit this leg. So it's a good idea to have a picture of the model in front of you so you know exactly where this is pointing. If it's pointing too high, point too low. Push it on there. You want to make sure you get a nice tight fit. You can still see, you can see the line because it's two different pieces. Um, if you're hardcore, you can go in with some uh, green stuff or, or gap, some other gap filling uh, material and sand it down and stuff like that. For a model this small, I don't think anyone's going to see it. So I'd say you're going a little crazy if you do it, but you know, hey, man, some of us are perfectionists and want it to look 100%. So I'm going to look at the arm here and give you a test fit. So I'm actually pretty impressed by these newer models. It's been a while since I've actually built one of these. Sorry, my, my little baby took control of the camera rig that I'm using. So push it in there. I was saying that I'm actually impressed with the way these uh, newer models are being built. The way they go together is a lot easier and a lot more beginner friendly. I'd say the starter set, if, you, if you're new to this and you, and you can have someone who's experienced with miniatures help you, definitely take that, take that help. Uh, just because some of the, the pieces are very small in the starter set and some of them don't fit together as nice. Or take some, take some doing. So I'm going to push this in, hold it there for a little bit. I've seen some people breathe on it to try and... Uh, you know, like kind of like blow on it to make it dry faster. I don't know if that works. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. Oops, got some onto her chest. There you go. This is definitely where I should have looked at the picture to make sure that she was actually looking that direction. But you know, you only live once. So models on the base. I'm quickly look at the picture. Right, that's probably a little longer than I should have been looking at it. Because the glue might actually dry up. There we go. We have Ghost Spider. AKA Spider Gwen. So she like that. 
I'm not gonna lie, this this is gonna be a little tricky to paint. The, all this white, this pink, and around the eyes with the pink. That's gonna be a little difficult. Uh, Spider-Man and his webs are uh, very nicely sculpted, so it will be semi-challenging for new people, new, new painters, but I, I don't think it's gonna be too hard. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with these models. We can add to the spider team. Have a uh, Venom on there as well. And then uh, on the opposite side, we'll have Green Goblin and, and Doc Ock. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, hopefully a cleaner video next time. I wanted to get this out really quickly for you guys or anyone who, who finds this useful. There you go. Thank you.